The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds for 3dgameman.com and today I'm looking at two mice from PenClick the Mouse B2, which is the Bluetooth version, and the Mouse R2, which is the wireless version. Now these mice are very similar when it comes to the overall design as well as the number of buttons, but they do differ slightly. Let me go over the specs on each one. First though, let's see what's included with each mouse. The packaging itself looks quite nice. It has information about the product on it. Now to open this up, just simply twist it and the top will come right off. There's a little clip here, remove that. Then you can just kind of slide the mouse out. At the bottom, they include a carry pouch and in it a battery, and this is a rechargeable battery. This is a charging cable. You can see it's retractable. And as well, they include the user's manual and other information. That was the B2, and this is the R2, but same packaging. Just twist, and you can take the top right off, then move the clip, slide the mouse out. Now this is the wireless adapter, and this gets connected into the computer's USB port. Here at the bottom, you've got a black, carry bag, the rechargeable battery, and the charging cable. Notice that the charging cable here is black to match the color of the mouse. And at the bottom, the user's manual. So each mouse takes one of these rechargeable batteries. Note that it is a 750 milliamp hour battery. It should last around two months before needing a charge. The white one is the Bluetooth model and it supports Windows XP or later, Mac OS X version 10.1 or later, as well as Linux and BSD flavors. So it supports pretty much every single operating system that is currently on the market. Now these mice will go into energy saving mode after 10 minutes and all you need to do is press a button to start it back up. Now the wireless reach for these mice are approximately five meters and the DPI for this one, the B2 Bluetooth model is 1200 DPI, but the DPI for the R2 wireless model is 800, 1200, 1600 or 2400. So these mice are virtually identical except this this one has different DPI settings and also it is wireless and not the Bluetooth version. But other than that, they look identical and pretty much are identical. Now this particular one does require you to connect the Wi-Fi adapter into the computer's USB port. That's this, which I showed you earlier. Once you've done that, that's it. This one doesn't require any software to work neither. Just connect this and your operating system will detect it pretty much as a normal mouse. So let's go over the buttons. This is the left click, right click, middle click, and you've got your backward buttons and the scroll wheel. This is a status LED that's red when it needs to be charged flashes green when it's charging and a solid green when it's completely charged. At the bottom, there are four feet, the sensor, an on off switch, the charging port, and this is the battery compartment. The overall build quality, styling, and design on these mice are really exceptional. They are very, very different, and they will take some time to get used to. So once the operating system detects this mouse, it pretty much works as a regular mouse. You just move it around like so. To move the cursor, move the mouse. If you need to click, well, use the buttons. Now these are obviously not gaming mice, they're for the casual computer user, but for that they are exceptional. First of all, they are extremely unique and perform really well, but the learning curve is a little high. It does take some time to get used to, but once you do, it's kind of like, hmm, how come the mouse wasn't designed like this to begin with? We are so used to holding a stylus, a pen, a pencil between our fingers that this just really makes sense. Overall, these are kick-ass products. Until next time, 
Take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.